Again, good morning and welcome to Freshman Seminar, Financial Literacy, FRS 102 Section 2. So this video is all about the syllabus. On the first day of class, normally that's all I go over is the syllabus. I like to find out what your expectations of me as your instructor will be and what my expectations of you as a student. So that's what this video is going to entail. It's going to be nothing but the syllabus. So as you can see, the course again is FRS 102, you're in section two. I will be your instructor, Terrence McCants. My office number is listed below and my office hours. I will maintain my office hours even though we're completely online. So my office hours will be Monday from two to four and Tuesday from two to five. I also will be doing Zoom appointments upon request. So if you have any questions about any weekly assignments that we have or you're not sure about the lectures, um, you can, we can schedule Zoom appointments or you can email me. Um, that's my Mars College email that's listed on the syllabus, but I also will give you my personal email. So just in case I don't respond to the Mars email as quickly as or as fast, you have my personal email as well. Again, the course section and time, we know the course meets from 8 to 8.50, and the meet, meeting days are Thursday, and it would have been in the Wilson Book of Science building in the lecture hall. So as we go on, and we know the course is a one credit course for this class. So we, we meet once a week. So the description of the course, basically this course is designed so it will teach students how to manage time, money, financial aid, and loan debt, and organize personal finances wisely while enrolling in college and upon graduation. So that's the whole gist of the course, is to teach you how to manage your finances so once you graduate from Morris College, you will be able to be financially ready and savvy so you won't make most of the common mistakes that most graduates make in their early 20s and early 30s. So that's what this course is designed to do, as well as teach you about the burden of student loan debt and how to pay back your student loan debt so you don't default on your loans and you don't end up in more debt. So that's the gist of the course. So that's also covering the course objectives of what we will cover. So by the time you get out this course, you should be able to have an idea or feel for all of the course objectives once we finish the course. For the textbook, you do not need to purchase the textbook. I will provide you everything you need. So don't, even, even if on your syllabus it says the textbook, do not worry about a textbook. I will provide you everything that you need. If you also see on there, I use a book, Financial Literacy for Generation Z. Don't worry about that. I will provide you that. If we're gonna, if I'm gonna pull anything from that particular book, I will upload it to LMS. So you, the textbook, you do not need to worry about purchasing a book. The grading scale of how this course will be graded, your attendance and video conferences will be 15%, which I will get into a little later. Discussion questions and any assignments are worth 25%. Your financial TED Talks will be worth 20%, and any exams or tests that you get will be worth 40%. So your test will include your midterm, your final exam, and your student loan exams. I give a total of four exams throughout the whole semester. I give more work than exams, so you have a chance. So if you fail or you don't do as good on the exams, you still have enough work to balance you out so you still can get a passing grade out the course. I have made some changes due, that, due to the fact that we are online. I will allow makeup tests, but they will only be given one week after the exam. So after a week, after we have taken a test, if you do not get in contact with me one week after, you will not be allowed to take your exam. The grade will stand as a zero. So I will allow this semester a makeup. Your midterm grade will only consist of your midterm exam and six weeks of assignments. So any assignments that we do prior to midterm and your midterm exam, that will be your grade. The final grade will be cumulative, so the final grade will be encompass everything that we have done the entire semester. Each lesson that we go over will include a written assignment that needs to be completed on LMS that will directly apply to what you have learned. Um, I'm going to change some things in the syllabus, so you will not get your assignments on Thursday of each week. You will actually get your assignments on Monday. So on Monday of each week, I will give you an assignment and it will be due Thursday at eight o'clock a.m. So that's how that's gonna work. So I know it says on Thursday of each week, but I'm changing that to Monday. So you will have from Monday morning, 
I would try to have the assignments uploaded by eight o'clock Monday morning. So you would have from Monday morning, eight o'clock to Thursday morning, eight o'clock to get your assignments done. That's any assignment I give you and that will be done weekly. After eight o'clock, the assignment will close on LMS and then I will get ready to grade it. So that's how we're gonna do that. A grade of C or better is required to complete the requirements for this class. So you must make a C in this course or you have to repeat it. And of course, we know the grading scale, that's through the college. Class attendance, even though we are meeting online, you are still required to be on time and present in class. And you may ask why, because it's online. For financial aid, you have to be present in class. If you are not accounted for in class, it can affect your financial aid. So that is why it is important that you attend class. Now, how we will do this course? On Monday, I will give you a discussion topic that we will discuss. I will give you everything that you need for that discussion topic, where it's coming from, if it's gonna be online. Your job is to do a minimum of a three minute video. That's all I'm asking for, three to five minutes. No less than three and no more than five, just because of the upload, um, it might be hard to upload. You will be required to upload that video to LMS by Thursday morning, eight o'clock. So I will give you the video, I will give you the discussion form on Monday. You have from Monday until Thursday, eight o'clock in the morning to submit that video. That will count as your attendance in class. Failure to do the video and upload it to LMS by eight o'clock, it will count as an absence. That's how we're doing the attendance for the course. So I um, think that's pretty fair because I know the class meets at eight o'clock and I know it might be hard for some of you all to get up at eight o'clock. So that is how we will be doing to cover attendance. Now, as you see, the maximum number of apps permitted for this class that meets once a week is two. I give you an additional day. So the max that you can miss is three. Once you hit that fourth day, we are still required to do drop form so i still can drop you from the class the school requires two days but out of a courtesy i give you one extra day so you can miss three so again it is your responsibility to keep up with any assignments when you're not in class because this class is going to move kind of quickly because we only meet once a week so if you know you're going to be absent please reach out to me by a zoom meeting or email to let me know so then we can make arrangements for anything that you might have I'm a stickler for late assignments. I do not accept them. I'm giving you from Monday to Thursday to get those assignments done. And usually it can, you can get those assignments done in a day, a day and a half, two at the max. So I'm giving you from Monday up until Thursday morning, eight o'clock to get those assignments done. Please do not be late on any assignment. That is a stickler for me. I do not like, I do not like late work. So, and just as a note, we know because of COVID-19, we will be completely online this semester. The general academic information, that's just academic policy saying that you will not cheat. Um, and we know what are the consequences if a student does cheat and the reprimands that come with that. Disability policies, if you have disabilities, please let me know, then I can work something out. Do not let me know anything after the fact. If you let me know after the fact, it's harder to help you. But if you let me know beforehand, I can work better with you. And we also know in class it was no profanity. So that's how that works. And it's the same thing for online. The class policy procedures, they're still the same, even though we're not physically in, in class, they're still the same online. I expect you all to hold yourselves as college students. I expect a certain type of caliber of work from you all, and I'm not gonna expect anything less because you all are matriculating through Morris College on your way to become a senior, so I'm expecting the, nothing but the best from you all. So I don't expect less than 100%. As, you, as I have, you have to remember that class is a professional setting. You are on the verge of becoming professionals. So I expect for you to conduct yourselves in that manner. Now, the course content outline, it just describes 
from week one all the way to the end of the semester, everything that we're going to be doing. So it's going to cover every activity that we're going to be covering, um, the different topics that we're going to be covering. The hardest and the most heaviest is when we start getting into student loans. So that's when it's going to get more heavy. Um, and it's, it requires much concentration. That's usually where your exams come in. Usually for students, that's the hardest part. So normally, last semester, I pushed the exam, the student loan portion up to the front, up to the front of the class because that is the hardest part for students sometimes to grasp the information and usually it would affect their grading end. So we're gonna see um, how we're gonna work that this semester. But everything is showing you exactly what we will be doing and then again, the final exam. The final exam is not a, it's not a physical test, it's, but it is a project that I have you work on, but we will get into that a month before the, the semester end, before the classes end for the semester. So I will get into that with you all. So the final page on your syllabus, and you can go back and actually read in depth for your syllabus. I wanted to just hit at it um, video wise. And if you have any questions, please feel free to email me. I am a stickler. If you have a question, I do not want you to go with the thought of trying to figure it out on your own. That's what I'm here for. Email me. I may not be able to respond right then, but I will return your email and your phone calls. Do not second guess. If you do not, not ask. I cannot help you if you do not ask me. I do not know what's going on. I want you to ask me questions. That's the only way I can fully know if you're understanding with everything I'm doing. So please ask questions. If you have questions about the syllabus, please ask. That's what I'm here for. So the final part of, this con of the syllabus is the student's contract. Basically it's saying that we've gone over the contract. I'm gonna fulfill my part of the contract, which is 50%. You're gonna fulfill your part of the contract, which is another 50%. So if I do my part as your instructor and you do your part as a student, at the end of the semester, you will come out this course with 100. I can guarantee you if you do everything that I ask, you will come out this course with 100. It never fails. Some students do not do what I ask and the grade does show. But if you do everything that I ask, I'm going to do my part. So that means if I'm going to do my 50%, I'm expecting you to do your 50%. And then if we put our 50% together, you come in, you're going to come out with some 100. So what I would like for you all to do to once you get the syllabus, I'm not going to ask you to print it. All I'm going to ask you to do where it says student name, I want you to type your name there. Student signature, I will take a type signature. So just type your name again on the student signature. On the instructor signature, once you sign your name, once you type your name on both and you date it, I will want you to email me, screenshot this part of the contract back. I will then go and sign off on it and I will print them out and I will keep a hard copy for myself. So that's all you have to do. You do this last part and that will be your first, one of your first grades. So again, just sign, just type your name where it says student name print. And then also um, type your name where it says student signature. What you will do, you will fill out that, screenshot it, and email it to me. Email it to my Mars email. It's on the first page of the syllabus. Email me that. With that, email me your contact information. So that's either your email or your phone number, whichever way is the best way to get in contact with you all. Because since we're doing things virtually, I need to be able to get in contact with you in a minute notice. So even though it's not on there, just right behind your name, just either put your number or your email or right under the date, just put your name and your email and then just screenshot this one page and send it back to me. Um, if you need to know how to screenshot on the computer, just shoot me an email and I'll walk you through the steps. Um, or you can do it on your, you can just take a picture with your phone and then just email that to my email. But if you have any questions about our syllabus, please reach out to me. I would rather you reach out to me now before it's too late where we can work things out. Because if you wait till the end of the semester, there's not much I can do. So I know I went through this kind of quickly, but the syllabus is on LMS. It's under 
the syllabus section on LMS. So you can pull the syllabus at any time. But I wanted to do a video recording so we could go over it together. If there are any questions, you have my email. It's right here. And you have my office hours. We are experiencing problems with the phone. And right now, in my office, the phone is out. But as soon as we get our phones back up, I will put that on LMS to let you know that the phones are back on. But again, if you have any questions, please free, free, feel free to email me. If there are no questions, I hope I'm looking forward to the semester. I hate that I can't see you all in person, but I'm expecting this to be a great semester. We're going to knock this semester out. And it's hopeful in January, you all will be able to come to the campus. So again, Welcome to Freshman Seminar. It is my pleasure to be your instructor for the semester. So I hope you have a great semester. I hope you enjoy everything that we're going to do in the class. And I look forward to working with you this semester.